Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon how-to guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's guide I'm going to show you the ultimate comprehensive guide to getting any max raid Pokemon as a shiny. So, uh, I've, well, this is a tough one to tackle, honestly. Um, we've covered this process twice before. You might have seen one of the two guides or both of the guides that I've already got on the channel right now showing you how to get any shiny den Pokemon. Now, one of the methods is the original method, very clunky, long-winded that I wouldn't really bother with anymore. Um, there is a better method that allows you to access a bot, send a Pokemon to that. It gives you your seed, and then from there, you can find how many frames you need to skip in a den to get that shiny Pokemon. But problem is, Doodoo -doo Bot that that whole video is based around has recently went down. Now, I don't know when it's gonna come back up. If it is gonna come back up at all, I, I don't know. But just a big shout out before anything to the people who run Doodoo -doo Bot and who put it up there for us all to use because I'm sure, like myself, many of you have used that to great success in the past with Sword and Shield and getting many shiny Pokemon. Unfortunately, like I say, that is no longer available to use. It has been inactive and is currently still inactive. Active. Now there are plenty of Poketubers out there and uh, other communities that have access to a seed checker on their Discord servers, but a lot of them are hard to find and some of them are behind paywalls, making it difficult for everyone to access them. So I've been thinking long and hard about this over a, a quite a while since Dudabot has been inactive and probably before then as well about getting my own seed checker on um, our, our Discord channel. So I'm happy to announce that from today, Friday the 17th of July, our C Checker is now active, it is live, it will be running 24-7 and it is free for all of you to use. If all you need to do is hop into the Discord, join our channel, our community and use the C Checker. The link to the Discord server is down in the description below um, and you can go there join up and then I will show you in a little bit later on in this video how you can go about using our C checker bot. Big shout out to all the guys that actually put the source code for uh, open source for us to use because without the lantern bot source code we wouldn't be able to do this and many others wouldn't be able to do this so a huge shout out to those guys uh, fish guy I think and a few others I will link all of that stuff down in the description if you so want to ever check that out you can you can go down and see the original stuff for yourself so getting into it right now what do we need to do let's explain a few things we are searching uh, Pokemon in dens for shiny Pokemon a lot of questions I've had relate to uh, can I do this with the daily dens that spawn on a daily basis randomly no you can't you can only do this with dens that you drop a wishing piece into so that is a very important bit of information dens are set up for when you drop a wishing piece into them, the entire spectrum of that den for IVs, natures, shiny is all predetermined. Just think of it in a long line. And in this line are all these different frames, one, two, three, four, five, six, up into the thousand. And somewhere along this line, there is a shiny Pokemon. Each frame is a different Pokemon. Frame one is a Fletchling. Flame two is a Talonflame. Frame three is a, a Volcarona, so on and so on. Whatever is in that den, that Pokemon will change depending on the different frame. And each frame will have a different IV, a different nature. It will have a chance to be a shiny Pokemon as well. And its ability will be different depending on what frame you're in. It's all predetermined. So by getting your seed, you're able to theoretically find out exactly where your shiny Pokemon is by sending a certain Pokemon from a den to a seed checker bot, and it will tell you where your shiny is. Now with that information, you can go into the game and then you can skip these frames by making 24 hours pass within the day that skips a frame so once 24 hours passes in the game then the frame will move from frame one to frame two so you'll be on frame two from that fletchling to that talent flame hypothetically speaking that's how it works so if you want to get to the frame 500 that's 500 date skips 500 times you're going through 24 hours in the game and that will take you to your shiny frame. Hopefully that explains it. Getting into the game, I think that's probably where we should go right now. So let's get a green screen up and let's hop over into our game. So here we are. We're in the Isle of Armor. It's a great place for us to go. What are we gonna hunt in this game? Well, 
I've decided right now that I'm going to hunt for an Amoongus. If you are going to hunt for a specific shiny den Pokemon, um, then what you can do, there is a great resource over on Cerebi.net. It will be linked down in the description. Joe has put a compilation of every den in the Galar region in the Isle of Armour and every Pokemon that appears in that den under a red beam or a rare beam. You need to do this with wishing pieces like I've already mentioned. And Jigglypuff, do not even think about it. Um, so, go over to Cerebi, go through the list, check which Pokemon you want to get as your shiny, see which den it is in, and then locate that den in the game. First step is, if you're going for a purple den, what you want to be doing, my text is normally fast, will turn it to normal or slow. I'm just going to show you what you need to do to get a purple den. Then once you've turned your text to normal or slow, save your game. This is going to be the first process. The other thing to note as well is make sure that you have your auto saves set to off. If you do not have them set to off, this method will not work. So we've changed our text, auto saves are off, we've saved in front of the den. The next step is obviously got to have a wishing piece hopefully you've already got one of those find a what trader and you'll be able to buy those once we're here doesn't seem to be anything in the den do you want to drop a wishing piece now here is the point at this point right now would you like to save your adventure so far have your finger hold, hovering over the home button because if you're going for a rare beam what you want to be doing is hitting yes and then waiting not great for the example but as you can see before that text finishes and the game saves, you wanna be hitting your home menu. Now you want to, just for instance sake, I'm not gonna keep that that purple beam. Just for instance, you can see whether it's a purple beam or, or it's a red beam. If that was a red beam, what you wanna be doing is just coming here, hitting close. This will close the software down and we'll be able to go back into the game to the point prior to us dropping the wishing piece into the den, which will then allow us not to waste wishing pieces and repeat this process until we can get that purple beam. And here we are, we're back. The purple beam is gone, okay? So we come back to this point again and we do the same process over where we hover over the home button on our controllers and then we hit yes. Do you like to save the adventure so far? Hover over and it's another purple beam. Could you believe it? Uh, can you believe it? And if it isn't again, then you, you go forward with that. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep this. If it is a purple beam, you obviously, you've hit your home menu, come back into the game, the game is saved. So just to the next step, we've got the beam that we want, okay? For all these purposes, not ideal for this guy. Turn your text back to fast, um, and that's all you need to do. Save your game in front of this then. Now, what we wanna be doing is the next step in this process. We've got our beam set up, we are ready to go. Let's use our Charizard. Uh, we don't wanna invite others to this one. We, uh, once we beat this Pokemon, we'll be right back. Um, to show you where we go next. Okay, we beat the Maractus and it is finally taken care of. So, give yourself the best opportunity here. You want to use a repeat ball if you've already caught this Pokemon. If you haven't, use a Dusk Ball. Um, if you're actually hosting this online, which you can do, uh, well, you'll have pretty much a guaranteed catch rate, so you can then use any ball. Um, so we just want to use the repeat ball, like I said, give ourselves the best opportunity because we don't want to repeat this process, um, catch this Pokemon, uh, and the next step is to send it to our seed checker. Um, now, like I mentioned earlier on in the guide, I do have a seed checker now active on my Discord server. So that is the seed checker that we're gonna be using for this, this method, um, which I'm hoping by showing you guys how to use it, it will make this whole process a lot easier. So we've caught the Maractus, and what we wanna do now is come to our YCOM, um, and then you wanna just connect to the internet. So first process, connect to the internet after we've caught the Pokemon in the den. Right, we are connected to the internet. We now need to, uh, if it's you guys, you need to join the Discord. So what I'm gonna do is pull up Discord right now. So here is our Discord server. This is the Discord server that I have been referring to, Osiris Studios Discord server. So once you're here, what you need to do, once you're uh, joined, you've accepted the rules and so forth, uh, you come down and you wanna be looking for the Pokemon raids uh, section and at the bottom there is a seed checker so you want to be coming in here our bot is called the Breloom bot I've already used it uh, this morning just to test it out it is currently working perfectly fine so hopefully that continues so once you're 
in this channel what you want to do is you want to be hitting the text command all the commands are pinned as well if you're ever concerned about what commands do what in the bot they are all pinned at the top here so you can get all that information but because we want to check my our seed what we need to do is just type check with a capital c capital m my and then capital s e e d so check my seed just make sure everything's got capitals dollar mark at the start and then once you've done that it will activate brilliant bot you'll see you'll get pinged it'll say at osiris vgc brilliant bot has been dispatched i will ping you once i start searching there are currently no people ahead of you in the queue which is perfect so we just wait to be pinged from brailing bot we'll wait for a message here and just make sure once you get the ping from brailing bot once it starts searching that you are pretty quick um, in doing it because the brilliant bot will time out if it doesn't get a response in a certain amount of time so uh, i am now searching i've sent you a unique code private message in game name blazing bell so that's what we're going to be looking out for so that's our code what we want to do is come back into our game and then we want to go to link code we want to set with code and then we want to set the code up as six five three one four eight two three and then we want to okay this mash through and then start searching and that should link us up with brailing bot here we go a trade partner is found so we want to be looking for that blazing bell user blazing bell yeah make sure you're quick here and you want to trade the pokemon that you've just caught in that den with the brailing bot now uh this error message will pop up. This is meant to happen. Communication with the other trainer was interrupted. This is meant to happen. This is perfect. So we know this has worked perfectly. It will take you back to your game. Now we want to hop back into our Discord server to get our information. So this is where we were pinged. We want to go back into Sarah Studio server, into the C checker. And you can see that Brailloom Bot has sent us some information. We also have a star shiny at frame 1116. That's pretty good. Like, honestly, that's a, quite a low number. Um, so pretty happy with that. So we know that's where our next shiny frame is for getting the shiny from this den, which is perfect. Um, like I say, the information square shiny, if you want to go for that, it's greater than 10,000. So if you want to go for a square shiny Pokemon, you're going to have to repeat this method over again, send another Pokemon to Brailing Bot and go from there. So we've got our information. This is the important bit though, the 1,000... 116 that's how many frames we need to go to get to our shiny frame so how do we work that out we work that out by going over to um, a site called time and date again this will be linked down in the description for you to use it's the best site i've i've used for this sort of thing so once we are here you want to hop over to calculators on the top menu bar and you want to be going to uh, where are we going calculator which is brackets add or subtract so i'm going to just click through on here you want to just hit today's date or populate this field the start date with whatever date you are currently on on your switch right now that is the date that we're going to be calculating from um, now you can change your date in game if you want to make it easier maybe go first the first 2000 if that makes it easier for you, you can do that. That's not a problem at all. And then go from there. What we want to do now, because we are on today's date, that's the date that we're on. We want to work out how many days. So we come over to this days section right here and we just paste in that number 1116. But we do not want to be going to that exact den straight away. We want to minus four frames from this number, subtract four frames. We want to take four days off this because we want to be using that four date skip method at the end when we know where our shiny frame is to change the Pokemon into what we want for this specific den to get the shiny. Take four off this. We want to be going for 1112 and then hit the calculate date because this is going to be our target date. So we want to be going for Wednesday, the 2nd of August, 2023. That is our target date. You need to remember this date. Just keep this window open. That's what I generally try and do and then we move on to the next stage of this process so come back into game we've got all, all our information which is perfect i want to just hit your home menu and then close the game because we've saved in front of the den before we caught the pokemon what we want to be doing is coming back to that active beam where we know we can then 
skip frames to that 1116th frame and get the shiny Pokemon. Once we are back in game, you can see our beam is active once again. And if we click into it, there is the Maractus that uh, we originally caught. Um, but what we want to be doing now is skipping frames. So I'm just going to show you one method to skip frames. Um, I'm sure you know this already. You don't need to be online to do this. So we're not online. Um, try to do this method when you're not online. Um, but what we want to do is invite others. So you want to do this. This is a very slow method, but this is what we'll use later on. Um, and one way you can do this, uh, then hit your home menu, come down into system settings. Then you want to go to system, date and time, toggle off synchronized clock via the internet, come down to date and time and just shift your date forward one day and click OK. Then you want to hit your home button. Once you've hit that OK, come back into your game and then you want to quit out of this den. Now this helps me better explain the frames because we are on frame one right there. We're now going to be going to frame two because we have advanced 24 hours within the game. So you can see Maractus is now changed into Tangrowth which is a different Pokemon. So we've moved from frame one to frame two. So that is exactly all we're doing to advance frames. But because we've got so many frames to advance, doing this method will take forever. Now there is a quicker way to do this, but what we're gonna have to do is actually go into handheld mode. So we're going over into handheld mode. What we need to be doing is, I'm gonna just pull this all up for you. We're in the game now, right? This is what we wanna be doing. Uh, you want to come to to activate this date skip glitch, you want to hit your YCOM, hit your plus arrow and connect to the internet. This is the quickest method to doing this, okay? Quickest method by a long way. Um, so once you're connected to the internet, just toggle down to link battle, all right? And then just search for single or double, whichever, it doesn't really matter. And once you've done this, just press and hold your home menu and then just hover down onto that flight mode option right here. You need to be in handheld mode to do this. You won't be able to do this when it's docked um, in your, your Switch dock, okay? So what you wanna be looking for is um, an opponent has been found. There will be text on the screen. I will show you exactly what I mean by doing this. And once you do this, what you wanna be doing is toggling that flight mode on and off. So there we go. When that text comes up, toggle flight mode on, toggle it off, and then just hit B, it'll bring you back to this screen. This communication error message will come up, um, and uh, what you wanna do is just close. It will kind of vaguely go into what looks like the, uh, the, the, the rank battle system and then come back out. So, to know if this, this glitch is active, and that's as simple as it is, okay? I wanna just go into your YCOM. We're not on the internet any longer, which is great. Now just hit your home, button right and then come back into the game and you'll see a like a, 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 a flash it'll glitch the screen will glitch you, i'll do it again for you screen will glitch there you go you know that this is activated which is perfect okay so we know that the date skip glitch is now active we need to keep our console in handheld mode for this next method uh, because it is just a lot quicker you don't need to do it if you're not worried about time you want to just sit there with a docked and watch something else while you're doing it that's fine but handheld mode i feel like you can blast through this very quickly so as you can see on the screen now we are ready to start date skipping but the first thing i would advise you to do is to fly to a location not in any wild area not in the isle of armor um, and i would just fly where i generally do all my skipping is the uh, the daycare center on route 5. so once we're here you can see in game what we want to be doing is just going down to our home menu hit the home button come down to system settings and then down to system date and time and once you are here you want to be using the touch screen. Okay, so the touch screen makes this so much easier. Now you want to just hit up, day forward, click OK. Now that will advance the frames forward one day. Okay, that will be one day. You have got to do every date individually. You need to hit OK. You can't skip 1116 days all in one go and just click skip to that exact date, hit okay, and think that that is, you've skipped all those frames. Uh -uh, that doesn't, that's not how it works, unfortunately. What you need to be doing is doing each day skip individually. So you need to hit from the 17th to the 18th, hit okay, 
18th to 19th. Okay, that would be two frames skipped. Okay, so you need to proceed like that all the way through. You can't skip multiple dates at the same time. And you are going to get times where you make a mistake. Don't worry about that. We'll adjust that at the end. We'll, we'll address that and make sure that, you know, there's no problems there. Okay, so what we want to do now is we just want to be going through this very quickly. And just using this method just hitting back into it uh date and time just skipping the date as you can see on screen right now uh, i am just skipping all of these dates and just hitting okay every time uh what you want to be making sure you're doing though is making sure when you get to the end of a month that you are changing your month as well and subsequently when you get to the end of a year you're changing your year if you do make mistakes, like I said, do not worry with this process. Uh, we can address any issues that you have later on. And you can see if you pick up a bit of pace here with it, you can start doing this very quickly and you'll be able to get through these date skips uh, extremely fast. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just skip through all of these dates and we will be right back when we've hit our target date. Okay, so we are now on the 2nd of August. We are on our target date. We know where we need to be. Uh, as you can see on the screen right now, we've got the 2nd of August 2023. So at this point, what you can do is pick your switch back up and just dock it. And here we are back in game where we like to be. So from this screen, what we want to be doing is then hitting our home menu. Once my pro controller decides to uh, sync up, there we go. Hit the home menu come back into game you'll see the yeah the screen flicker exactly where we want so we know we're on the right track so what we want to do now is go back to the den that we were hunting in so we are back at the den that we were uh, originally um searching for we're right here once we come back to this den what we want to be doing straight away we've made all of those skips so we just need to which is four frames before that shiny den or should be if we've done everything correct up to this point so what we're going to do at this point is just save our game because if we make any errors or if that pokemon isn't in the fourth slot where we're expecting it to be we can then come back to this point and then we can do a few things to alleviate and try and locate where that shiny pokemon is so what we're going to do we're just going to use the old-fashioned method here you can just do date skip glitch that we've got set up already but i like to do things a little bit slower at this point slow things down take it carefully make sure we're not making any mistakes going forward so this is our, our frame number one we need to get to frame four from our new save point after we've done all of those date skip glitches so um yeah we've done how many well uh, 1112 skips so we want to be getting to 1116 right so We'll invite others once we're in the den. Come down to system settings, and then we want to be going to system, date and time, moving the date forward one day, hitting the home button, back into the game, quit out of this den, and this will take us to frame number two in this four frame process. Okay, so that is Amoongus. Pokemon's changed. We know the frame's changed. We do this process all over again, down to system settings, down to system, date and time, skip forward one more date, and back into the game. And this will take us into our fourth, uh, third frame right now, which should be a different Pokemon, which is a Fungus. And we do this one more time, which will be uh, taking us to our fourth frame. Again, home menu, system settings system date and time date forward one date and then we want to go back into the game quit out of this and then this next frame is our fourth pokemon uh, the fourth frame in this four frame process so it is lorantis um now we don't need to worry about saving here we're just testing at this point so we just want to go into this den and see if this Lorantis is shiny. Fingers crossed that it is, because if it is we've done everything correct and then we can proceed to manipulate that slot it looks like it is it is it is it's shiny awesome okay we get the lorantis there we go okay perfect we've done everything correct up to this point which is brilliant um so what we can do is unless you want the lorantis and that's the this is the pokemon that you're hunting you can just proceed to catch it but we don't want lorantis and uh, not for this so what we're going to do is close our game we know that fourth slot now is the shiny slot. So we've done everything correct up to that point. If you get to that point, if you skip to the fourth Pokemon and it isn't shiny, 
all you need to do is come back, reset your game, reset your game, okay? Just reset. Come back into the game like we're doing now, and then you want to catch the Pokemon, the first Pokemon that you that comes up. So you want to be going into the den like this and catching Lilligant, and then going back to an earlier step where we are getting our seed again from the Breloom bot on the Discord server. And that will tell you how many frames it will it'll nail down exactly where you are, how many frames you are away from your next shiny. And that will tell you if you've made any errors or anything like that. And um, so that's all you need to do. Catch the first Pokemon here and um, send it to Breloom Bot on our Discord server. That will tell you the seed. It'll tell you exactly how many frames away you are so you can adjust your save point right now so you can get to that four frames before your shiny den. Okay, so that is a simple way of getting around it. Now we know that, we, that we've got four frames to advance to our shiny frame. We know that for a fact, we've done that test. Um, so what we wanna do now is we wanna just go through this four step process because when you're doing this, um, invite others down and you're going through the, the fourth four stage process of um, this, this kind of technique. When you get to that fourth slot every time, the Pokemon will, will change. This is the only way to change that Pokemon. So the first three Pokemon will stay the same. As you can see, we had the Lilligant. The second one's the Amoongus. Now this third one that we're gonna go to in a second is gonna be a Fungus. 100%, these first three do not change. But that fourth Pokemon will change. There's the Fungus. Um, and we know for a fact because of that, that, that kind of pattern that our next one is going to be the shiny one. Now I did say at the start of the guide I was looking for an Amoongus. So if the next one is an Amoongus, we know it's a shiny Amoongus, which is just perfect. Uh, it's the Lorantis again. So we know for a fact that that's not what we're hunting for. Um, so again, we can just close our game. Um, and come back into it and it'll bring us back to that point where we were originally after we've done all our date skip glitches to advance the frames forward and what we want to be doing is repeating that four step process over and over again until we get the exact pokemon in that fourth slot the shiny den that we want to be catching okay so that is that is as simple as it gets you just need to do this over and over as many times as it takes again we'll do it one more time the lilligant i'm hoping this one's going to be the amoongus we will go into home system settings system date and time advance the date forward one come back into the game quit out and then the next one should be that amoongus when we go back into the den, it is the Amoongus. And like I say, we'll do this step over again. Invite other system settings, system, date and time. And I know this is getting a bit monotonous now, but this going over this for you guys is hopefully helping you just iron out any questions that you've got. And this should be Fungus. Yep. And it's the next frame from this one after we change the date now where that Pokemon should change. It didn't change the last time, but uh, I think it went from a four star Lorantis to a five star. So it, I think it changed. But hopefully this, this next one is a completely different species of Pokemon. Uh, yeah, there we go. Ma Maractus is the one, which isn't the one that we want. So what I'm going to do is save you any more problems. I'm going to just do this cycle uh, off camera and then we're going to come back when I've got that Amoongus in that fourth slot. Okay, I finally went through the cycle. We've got the Amoongus in that fourth slot and whatever this Pokemon is that you're hunting. Now you have an option here what you can do. You can open this up and host this online for friends to help you catch this Pokemon or have them catch it for you. And then you can start this process again and just cycle through all of the Pokemon in this den and get the shinies from every single Pokemon. Um, if you're just hunting for one particular shiny from this den, then like I am right now, like I want the shiny Amoongus, once I know I've got this set up, once I know that I'm at the den that is 100% shiny, we've already checked that, we've done the four skips, the four frame skip method to change that fourth Pokemon to what we want it to be, we can then save in front of this den, okay? And then we can go into the den and then um, I probably want to change Pokemon um, and then we just don't want to invite others not for this one um, and then once we're saved in front of it 
we can then proceed to the den. We'll be able to get into this raid. We can confirm that this is shiny Amoongus, that nice bluey purple color. And uh, one of my favorite shinies as well, Amoongus, which is amazing. Um, and then we can proceed to beat it and catch it. If we don't catch it, do not worry. If it escapes, it runs away after the, the, uh, the wild battle has finished. You can just reset your game and come back into it. Remember, if you host uh, these sort of um, raids, then you're gonna have a 100% uh, catch rate on this. So. For shiny dens, it's not a bad idea. You give other people an opportunity to catch these shiny Pokemon and you have 100% catch rate and get it in whatever ball that you want to get it in, which is a really nice perk to doing that. Okay, we finally beat the Amoongus, which is great news for ourselves. Uh, and what we can do, we can use, I've got some dive balls. I'm gonna use a dive ball. This is risky, this is risky. We should be using, we should be hosting if we want to use a, a different ball to a repeat ball or a dusk ball for this example, but I'm gonna risk it. I always love to have my Amoongus's dive ball, my favorite ball, so hopefully we can get the Amoongus in this ball. I'm gonna keep my fingers and everything crossed for us. We've got the two and the third, and it looks like we're gonna get a little bit lucky here, and we got the Amoongus, there we go. So that's perfect, we got it in the dive ball, which is amazing, and uh, I'm so, super happy about this. Uh, Amoongus, one of my favorite Pokemon. You can see there is the shiny, we've got it in the dive ball that we want, um, and then we can go from there. So, that's perfect. Right, what you can do from this point is um, just save your game obviously or do whatever just carry on with what you're doing but one thing i want to show you is if you mess up this process and you get to a point and you save and then you discover that you've either uh, missed the shiny den when too many frames in front of it or you've lost your shiny den and you need to get back to a previous save point uh, there is a way to recover a save file um, and i will show you that right now what you want to do if you are lost if you've made a mistake is just hit this home menu right now okay and then close your game Okay, so our save point now is we've just caught the Amoongus and yeah, everything went smoothly, but that's not going to happen every time. You might make mistakes when you're doing the, the date skip glitches. You might just advance the frame one too many and lose your shiny and you think, oh, and I've saved and I can't go back. Don't, don't worry. There is a way to try and do this. So when you're on the menu screen here and you want to press up, B and X, and this will bring up a different menu. So you've got two options here. You can start with your backup data or you can go back to your adventure, okay? So that if you start with your backup data, it will go back to a previous save point and hopefully that recovers the data for you, that you, you know, the mistake that you've done and you'll be able to retrace your steps and redo the, the error and get it right and just get that shiny Pokemon again. Or you can just go back to your adventure um, like we're gonna do right now and um, we're just gonna carry on like normal and uh, if you do that it'll just reset and we'll come back into the game and uh, you'll be able to see that we do still have that shiny Amoongus and um, everything is great and it is Regenerator as well which is amazing so it has got its hidden ability it is shiny couldn't ask for anything more right well that about wraps up the guide for us my friends um i hope you found it useful i hope going through this process over again has been helpful i hope it's answered a few of your questions i hope i've been thorough in everything that i've kind of covered today i know i'm repeating a lot from the previous guide, but I feel like this new one is gonna be a lot easier to follow. We discuss a lot of the issues that you might have along the way um, and how to recover things. The main thing is not to panic about it. And if you do have major issues, if you're in a Discord, ask and there will be someone around. I'll be around to help you out with this process. Um, if you want to support the use of this free seed checking bot, I have now and recently just launched a membership on here on the YouTube channel. So if you would like to support in any sort of way, that would be a massive, massive um, gesture of yours to help support. If we can get enough members um, in the uh, the YouTube channel, what I will do, I will purchase a new 
switch and we'll have another bot solely for members um, and that's that's what we will do that is the aim to get as many bots as we can running in the discord at one time so to reduce queues and things like that for you guys getting these shiny red pokemon boy and uh, on that note i'm gonna leave it there it's been a bit of a long one i hope it's been uh, digestible if, um and uh, i will see you all for another another guide very soon so thank you so much for tuning in my friends take care of yourselves have a great rest of your day be kind to each other and uh, i'll see you all for the next one so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye